Hi, this is Andrew with FieldWire. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Custom Task Status module. Custom Task Statuses enable a customized workflow progression best suited for the needs of the project. Through Custom Task Statuses, you can enable a progress tracking flow that mirrors current processes through custom status names, colors, permissions, and the order of the statuses. Today, we'll go through where to locate the Custom Task Status module how to create and edit your own custom task statuses, and where to leverage these within your project. Project admins have access to the Settings tab where they can find the Manage Status module. Project admins can also access the Manage Status module from the Kanban view by selecting the gear icon at the top of the status column. When you click on the gear icon, it opens the Manage Status module where you will see the current statuses on your project. Here, you can alter the status name, color, type, permission, and order of the status. You can also add new statuses by selecting the New Status button here, or you can delete the status altogether by selecting the trash icon here. One key thing to note is that custom task statuses will follow an open to tracked to verified workflow. A verified task cannot come before a tracked task. A tracked task cannot come before an open task. You will need to have a minimum of three task status types, but can add up to seven in total. I'm going to create a new task status by selecting the new status button. Once a new status is created, it will automatically adopt the open status type shown here. The open type is a transitory state the task exists in. Use these to indicate a stage of the work. Both tracked and verified tasks are dated and can be analyzed through task filters, reports, and graphs. Fieldwire will record the date the task was moved into a tracked and verified status and it will use these dates when using any time filters in reports or while filtering tasks. While there can be several open and tracked task types, you can only have one verified task type. Verified tasks will archive after a set period of time as determined under the Settings tab. Each task status can be associated with a project permission set, meaning you can determine which project permission set can move a task into and out of that status. You can adjust each status so it can be adjusted by all users, admins and members, and admins only. Use the arrow options to adjust the order of the task status. Keep in mind that these follow an open to tracked to verified workflow. Use the trash can icon to delete a status. You'll need a minimum of three statuses but can have up to seven unique statuses for your tasks. When a task is deleted, all associated tasks in that status will be moved into the open default status. Prior to deleting a task status, consider batch editing the pertinent tasks and move those into another task status. To help contextualize this, we can create a custom workflow to track specific issues for the punch process. I'll set up a workflow to track a task from pre-punch to its eventual approval by the GC. I want the default status to be pre-punch. That means when my inspector drops down the task pin, it will automatically be in the pre-punch status. First, I'll adjust the name of the default status to pre-punch. Next, I'll change the color to light blue and move it up to the first spot. Next, I'll change the name of any other statuses to reflect the stages of progress. Once an issue is identified, they'll change the status from pre-punch to defect. I'll adjust the name of the status to defect and then change the color to dark blue. Next, I want to track when the fix will be scheduled or when the task adopts an end date. I'll do so by changing the name of this status to scheduled. Next, I want to make sure that I'll have an in-progress status that is tracked to make sure that I can leverage the time filters for this status. I'd like to create a new status to track when work begins. To add a new status, select the New Status option. You'll then enter the status name. 
I'll call this one Approved by Sub. Then I'll click on Create. New statuses will automatically have the open type and will be available for all users. I'll change the type to Tracked for time filters, change the color, and I'll also make sure that only admins and members can change tasks to the Approved by Sub status. Finally, I'll rename my last status to Approved by GC. I'll change the color and leave this as the verified type. I'll also make it so it's admin only. If I did want to change this permission set to admins and members or all users, I do have that option. Now that this is complete, I'll select Save to pre-populate these statuses throughout my tasks, the task views, and within the filter and report tools. All of the new custom task statuses will appear on the Kanban board. In addition, you can leverage these within your tasks themselves, within reports, and from the Filter Tasks tool. If you have any questions about using custom task statuses on your project, or you'd like a demo of custom task statuses, feel free to contact us at support at fieldwire.com.